13 tries in his career, Ryan Hall. More than anybody else since the game switched to the summer in 96. Well, a heated exchange. King stays down. And I don't think they're happy with the attentions in the tackle from Asiata. A talking point in the semi-final. The high tackles. That's, that's a proper tackle. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. The one thing he does get wrong, he gets his head in the wrong position. Yeah, so, no. you know, he's going to injure himself more than he injures the uh, ball carrier there. So, but for me, there's nothing wrong with that tackle. He gets a technique wrong. It's a low tackle. And it's a fuss over nothing. Hey, they're going to look after each other. I think this, you know, interesting to see what decision the referee makes here because... Right, like, listen, there is nothing illegal about the tackle. Exactly. It's not an outlawed tackle. The game is stopped there because Elliot Minchella runs in and causes the game to be stopped, so it's a penalty against you guys. No more. I thought that would be in the case. There was nothing on, they didn't like him. But one thing, they, they want him, they want the referee, the referee... Yeah. That area now. You get the sense that that was in Hulk Chaos thinking yes. before yes. the game even yeah. kicked yes. off today. Draw attention to Asiata's tackle technique. They've certainly done that. And complete the game plan. I think it's in any game, John. I think with uh, yardage and defences, you know, being so tough now, to give an easy field position, usually are quite instrumental in results of games. So Ben Reynolds with a chance for the first two points of the game. Boy, has he had a career. Tracking back to Castleford, he earlier spell at Lee and Wakefield, another spell at Lee and Toulouse. And back here in the last couple of years, a chance here to give his side a Wembley lead. With less than five minutes played, and he has struck. He's litter. Looking right to Minchella. Looking to get himself through here, and he has. He's struck off a couple of defenders, and he has support on the inside, and it's Litton to score. Jess Litton, out of nowhere. Flash, bang, and wallop underneath the sticks. That's what he means. Well, everybody's been talking about John Asiata. I can tell you the number 13 of Hull Kingston Rovers ends a bad player as well. Well played Minchella and well supported Lytton. Great try. Ipape. Asiata now up to the line and passes away to Lamb. And here comes O'Donnell stepping through. And Lachlan Lamb underneath the sticks. Oh, what a try that is. That was a thing of beauty. Dad, just have a look what your son's just done. Asiadi takes so many players out, and then Lachlan Lamb just squares up a little bit, squares his shoulders up, holds a defender, and there's a gap opens up. They take three or four defenders out, great angle, inside pass, brilliant play. Just let us down a bit, so hopefully we can you know, cut that out and we'll get on back on top of them. Thanks, Lachlan. Well, let's kick down field. For those of you who don't know, Lachlan, of course, should have been playing for Hockey out today, but had to retire because of a succession of head injuries earlier this year so it's a sweet for him today penalty for lee again a yeah, late challenge on the what, kicker I what, believe. Do you th what do you think of this now then john you know it's no i know they're trying to protect the cricket uh, the kickers but no let's have a look well i think he's saying that if you if to go and attempt to yeah. make a tackle and wrap the arms again but that's I, a clumsy I, I, tackle again I think it's a little harsh. Can I, do I think it's a little harsh. You can't have, you, can, you know, you got to, you can't give kickers that amount of space. If you've got a kick, you have got to create your own space. I think. I know they're trying to protect the kicker, but you know, maybe you just put more pressure on him, wrap your arms, get your shoulder into a tackle. But again, it's field position that's been given, and I think it's a little bit harsh. But he's, uh, he's going for two points, I he's believe. Not, he's not late. He's not, he's not that late. I mean, you can make a case that he's trying to pull out of that. But, he's, he's but he, he could have followed through, and he's trying I to think, twist out of it. Yeah. I think it's a directive. It's, they're all about the elbow, look at him now. Just get on with it. You know, yeah. they're trying to get players sent off. It's going to be pathetic now, lads. Just, you, OK. You can make a case that they're trying to pull out of it. Or he's actually trying to charge it, but he's got his arms up trying to charge it all. Yeah, yeah. So, so there's... Turning away from yeah, him. Yeah. He's trying to protect the man, isn't he? Yep. I can understand the directive, right, that they're trying to protect the player, especially the kicker. 
it's not, you know, this is... He turned, he didn't lead with the elbow. Well, uh oh here we go. Here we go. There's no attempt to run. It's late oh, contact. No. The no. It's this, a Simbin. This is... It's this, a Simbin. This is a Challenge Cup final, right? The players work their socks off to get in the position, and the referee makes that decision. Well, you don't get many of those in cup finals. You've got to go back 22 years. The last player who was Simbin, Shane Rigan, for Bradford in 2001. So a little bit of unwanted history there for Elliot Minchella. For me, becomes the first player since to spend 10 minutes in that Simbin. Think it on, lucky. We look at it again, and there's a, a, a does he cop an elbow? I'm not sure if he led with it. He's trying to t duck away from it. I think that's harsh. I've seen a lot later challenges. Believe yeah, you me. Yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah. But the referees, in defence of the referee, the referees can only referee as they've been told to referee. Well, the, well then, Dave. And that is that is that is their instruction. Well done. So. Thank you. I'll take that, Jonathan. From you, Reynolds. It's going to be a Wembley hat trick of goals. Yes, it is. So maybe one more play here. What are they going to do? They're going to go through hands. Mikey Lewis is involved. Lewis with the dummy. Oh, Reynolds, I think it is, has dragged him down. That was a big tackle. And it's the first penalty. And it's a penalty. The first penalty, penalty Hull Kingston Rovers have received. So it'll be interesting to see whether he goes for two points, which I think he will. He'll have to do, really. Schneider. This is to take his side to within two points in the final. Low, hard, has he got it? Has he got it? Yes, he has. Great kick. Great kick, Great kick from Brad Schneider. Still the same 13 lead players on the field that started yep. the game. Well, it's working for Lee, that's a knock-on. Yep. It's a late hit, knock I've on seen by it. Schneider, it's, a late... it's a penalty for Hull KR. Yeah, late hit. Again, it's a directive from the Rugby League. No late blind shots. Schneider. This for all square. And it is all square, as predicted. Ten points apiece. Last of the set, the drums are beating in the background. Where do they go? Reynolds puts it back to Lamb. Lamb now, quick hands from O'Brien, and Briscoe's in! Tom Briscoe might just have elevated himself to Lee Legend with a try that might make a difference. There's still a lot of time to go here, but it's a crucial breakthrough. There's one play, one play, Schneider up in the air. Where's this coming down? Kenny Dale's after it, the ball pigs around, it's dropped on. Is it a try? Is it a cup final saving try? Is it a knock on? The referee has gone for the square in the air. There's a lot to look at. No, he says try on the field. So, Blagas is in a try here, so we have to have sufficient evidence to prove this touches a Hulk Air hand. On the basis of the angles I've seen, there's no angle that proves to me this touches a Hulk Air hand. So, I'm playing on from this point, please. I'm playing on. I'm going to stop it on there. Stop it there, please. Thank you. I've made my decision. It's been painstaking. It's been a precise examination of all of that. And in the end, it's a potential match-saving, dream-saving touchdown by Matt Parcell that gives Hull KR hope again. It's going to be the last kick of the game before we go to Golden Point. Extra time if he puts it over. It's all on this. Schneider puts it over. What a name he's made for himself in Hull Kingston Rovers folklore. Brad Schneider. We're going to Golden Point, extra time. Back with Lamb, here comes Ipape, straightens up, he knows the route, he knows the route. Is there going to be another drive, no, or do they go for goal from go one again. Back it comes again, taken on That's by Mulhern, try, brilliant, try. brilliant carry from Mulhern. Lamb. Here we go, switch back. O'Brien, now it's Lamb, he's got time, and he sticks it over the sticks. Lachlan Lamb is a Lee legend. Wow! 
52 years ago. It was a crafty halfback called Alex Murphy who lifted Lee to the ultimate glory. Today, it is another crafty halfback in Lachlan Lamb who's won it for Lee. And the proudest man is his dad, Adrian Lamb, the coach. You could not write this story and get away with it. So here we go. No one has ever done like this. Nobody has ever won a cup final like they have. Crazy, crazy dreams come true. Lee Leopards, they're the new kings of the rugby league jungle. And Lamb, father and son, are legend that future generations will barely believe. What a day, what a night, what a year it's been for the Lee Leopards.